All right, we're here with the uh, Tattnall Boys 3200 crew. Uh, looks like they got a one, two, three. Uh, Sam, tell us about your race with the win. I don't know, man. I just, I just gave it my all. I knew it was my last indoor race in this upside down triangle. So <laughs> I tried to, I don't know, anything I had to do for my team, that's what I did today. Now, now you got the win in the, uh, the two mile, the win in the mile. And uh, what else did you run today? Uh, I ran a four by eight also. Well, it looked like you jogged a four by eight. <laughs> um, well, I knew that Sally's and CR were up there, and um, Coach gave me a signal just to loosen up and not um, fatigue for my mile and two mile. So what were your times today in the, in the mile and two mile? Um, I'm not too sure yet. 424. I'm not sure about the 3200. And uh, second place? Um, yeah, I, I just went out. I had run the 4 by 8 and the open 8 beforehand. I was just trying to get, uh, scrounge up as many points as we could for the team. And uh, it worked out in our favor. I worked a lot with um, freshman Stephen Garrett, who's like a complete workhorse. Uh, I think you know we really we really work uh, well together each day in practice, which is makes it easier to get through the hard days. And I wouldn't trade these two guys in for anything. And now uh, Steve Garrett, freshman, uh, just barely nipped the third place. Uh, what were you thinking there, coming down the stretch? Um, well, I know that Alex and Sam are right up there, and I want to finish with them. I know McKenna has, Matt McKenna has a really strong kick, so I was just trying to hoping maybe if I can just try and hang on a little longer, maybe I can get in. But he has a really strong kick, and I know it's going to be a tough ending. Now, did you think at all during the race that uh, third was out of the question, or did you, were you feel like you could have gotten it the whole time? Um, I was kind of thinking about that, but like I was going to lose it. But I was trying to stay with Sam in the beginning, and then Alex came through, and he woke me up in that race, and I think he's the reason I was able to finish that like that. Now, same thing for you. Were you have any doubts at all during the race about second place? Um, yeah, I mean, I started out pretty far back, and I just tried to work up as best I could. I just kind of let the race come to me. So I, I think I, I'm lucky, but I think a lot of hard work went into it. And uh, you were out in front the whole time. What, what, what was that like? Um, it was good. I don't know. I like to be out front. It, um, it keeps me relaxed, and I know every lap I, I just get faster and faster. It just fuels me. It's adrenaline in this place. It's awesome. Now, the girls had three one, two, threes today, so you guys had to get one, right? Yeah. Now, uh, just real quick, what's it like for you guys seeing this guy, training with him and watching him, what he does? How does that help you guys? Um, I think it's great knowing that we train with him and he's doing as well as he is. And then maybe um, when we get a little bit older, then, like when I get a little bit older, I can hopefully try and do what he's doing. Then I'm you grow up, you could be like Sam? <laughs> yeah. No, no, how, how about you? Uh, Sam and I grew up in the program. I ran in eighth grade, which was his freshman year. We've been together for the past four years. Um, he's right now. He's just living the dream, reaping the benefits of his three previous years' hard work. And it's just, I, I like I said earlier, I wouldn't trade these two guys in for anything. Well, congratulations, guys. Nice job. Thank you.